Hi everyone, hope everything is going good and you are staying well and safe. Dear students, I welcome you again to online class and this is Srishti Borua, lecturer, Department of English, Mohila College, Chautogram. And I hope you know I have been discussing words and phrases from English second part and today it will be my fourth lecture. And the, those students who joined late in the group you can go through the videos of previous lecture. Uh, today, at the very beginning of the class, I'd like to give you some tasks, okay? And it is based on my previous lectures. I have already discussed these phrases and like uh, there, have to, would rather, had better, what does look like, what if, would you like to, in order to, what's it like, was born, let alone would you mind, and other phrases also. I have mentioned here uh, 12 phrases and 10 sentences and 10 gaps. And basically you will find this kind of question pattern in your exam. And I want you to submit the answers in the comment box later on, after the class. First, you follow the class, then you will write down the whole thing and uh, and uh, show me in the comment box usually in your exam you will have uh, to you will have to write down only the answers but now it's your practice time so you will write down the whole thing in your kata or in your exercise book so uh, take a picture or take a screenshot okay you will uh, post it uh, in the comment box afterwards I again explain into Bengali. Pori khai shudhu uttor likle chole. Item e shudhu uttor ta likle chole. Ekhon jee tu tomra unishilon kochcho. Ebang ei phrase kulo alo chona hoye chhe. Tomade khata e tomra likho. Eta thaklo. Ebang uttor ta amake comment box e send kore diye. Ami check korbo. Korbo kite. Okay. You got your homework. And now just relax. Uh, relax. We are uh, just uh, going to watch a video today's first topic is use of used to and in this video we will listen to a conversation between two generations and you will notice how they use the phrases like used to wood and other phrases in their conversation hope you will enjoy and let's get going <laughs> What did you look like when you were a little girl? I was blonde and I used to have long hair just like you. And what were you like? I used to be playful and talkative. What about you, Grandpa? I used to be very shy. Whenever a stranger came to our house, I would hide in a closet. <laughs> Did you used to have lots of fun when you were kids? When I was a child, I used to play hide and seek with my brother and my sister. It was my favorite game. I would also jump the rope with my friends. And we would often play moms and dads as kids. We played outdoors a lot. We also liked playing hopscotch. We used to draw the squares on the ground with chalk. Kids still play these games. That's unbelievable. What about you, Grandpa? My brother and I would spend the day walking around the neighborhood, visiting other kids on the block and playing games. We used to have wooden scooters and we would ride them every day. Sometimes we would make paper planes. I have a scooter too, and I can also make paper planes. That's great. Did you have any fairy tale books? Yes, sometimes my mother would read us some tales before going to sleep, but we didn't have too many books. Did you like any sport when you were kids? I used to take ballet classes, 
because I wanted to be a ballerina. I used to play baseball. I was good at it and used to be selected as the number one player. I was popular among my peers. Yay! What was school like when you were kids? I really want to know. Well, students used to respect their teachers very much. We would always obey them. I can remember Mrs. Elizabeth, my third grade teacher, very well. When we arrived each morning, she would sit at her desk. She would always smile and say hello to each student as they entered. When the bell rang, she would stand up and clear her throat. <clears throat> that meant we were supposed to be quiet so that the class could start. Teachers were usually very strict. If the children were naughty, they had to stand in the corner. Our teacher would even hit our palms with the ruler. That must have hurt quite a lot. Yes, it did. Did you wear uniforms? No, we didn't used to wear uniforms. We used to wear our everyday clothes to school. Was there a cafeteria in your school? No, the schools did not used to offer lunch to students. Every student would carry their own food and water from home. But I bet you didn't have homework when you were in school, did you? Students used to have homework back then, too. Really? Wow. Did you use to walk to school? Yes, I used to walk to school with my siblings because we lived close to the school. My school was not close to my home, so I would go by bus. Did you used to have a smartphone or a computer? No, of course not. Smartphones or computers back then. Really? Then how did you use to contact your friends and relatives? We used to go to a phone booth with lots of coins. Or we would write letters. But it would take days before they were delivered. Life seems hard without technology. We used to have a record player. We would listen to our favorite songs. What about TV? We had a black and white TV. I remember we would sit in front of the TV in the evenings watching movies. What did you use to eat when you were kids? During summertime, we would eat lots of fresh vegetables and fruits, as well as milk and cheese. During wintertime, we would eat potatoes, beans, canned fruits and pickles, rice and oats, meat and eggs. No supermarkets then. Where did you use to buy your food? There used to be small grocery stores in town where you could buy food. Was there ice cream when you were kids? What about cola? Yes, there used to be ice cream and soda counters in the stores. Your childhood was really beautiful and interesting. Yes, I miss my childhood so much. We used to be so happy. Used to and would are used to describe something that happened in the past, but doesn't happen any longer. I used to have long hair. When I was a child, I would jump the rope. We didn't used to wear uniforms. Did you used to walk to school? interchangeable when referring to best actions we would ride our scooters every day or we used to ride our scooters every day what is not used to talk about past dates i used to be very shy 
Incorrect. I would be very shy. Incorrect. the video ends here uh, we have seen that uh, the grandparents are missing their childhood very much we all miss our childhood the days were really beautiful and you see while they were cherishing the memories every time they used the phrase used to and it means something happened regularly in the past but no longer happens now I used to play tennis, for example. I used to play tennis a lot, but I don't often now. Diana used to travel a lot. These days, she does not go away so often. Do you go to the theater very often? Not now, but I used to. That means I used to go. Something happened regularly in the past. We also use used to for something that was true, but not true anymore. This building is now a furniture shop. That means uh, a building furniture dokan. But it used to be a cinema. I can it is cinema hall chilo. That means it used to be a cinema. I used to think, Ami Bhaptam. He was very friend, unfriendly. He was very unfriendly, but now I realize he's a nice person. I have started drinking coffee recently. I never used to like it before. Ami Shiti, coffee kohone pochundu kotamna. Janet used to have a long hair when she was a child. So, I used to do something is always past. There is no present form. You cannot say, I used to do. To talk about present, we must use the present simple, I do. So, let's compare between uh, past and present form. Uh, in past form, if I use, he used to smoke. In present form, he will use, he smokes. We used to live, we live. There used to be present for Ashpe. There is. We used to live in a small village, but now we live in London. There used to be four libraries in the town, but now there is only one. Question pattern, Hobe. The normal question form is did. Did, then subject, then used to. Did you used to eat a lot of sweets when you were a child? Did you used to quarrel with others in your boyhood? The negative form is didn't used to or used not to. Both are correct. I didn't used to like him or I used not to like him. Mother used not to reproach me in my boyhood. Now let's compare between I used to do and I was doing. I was doing. I was watching television. I was playing football. I used to watch television a lot. I used to watch television a lot. That means I watch TV a lot, but I no longer do this. I mean, actually, I watch television regularly. I television regularly. I watch television regularly. I was watching television when the phone rang. So I was in the middle of watching TV. Video tamra uded babharo dekhachi. We can also use ud when we talk about things that happened regularly in the past. When we were child, we lived by the sea. In summer, if weather was fine, we would all get up early and go for a swing. That means we did it regularly. Whenever Arthur was angry, he would walk out of the room. similar case. With this meaning, would is similar to used to. Whenever Arthur was angry, he used to walk out of the room. Okay. এখন আমরা কিন্তু বর্তমানেও 
কোনো কিছুর অভ্যস্ত হয়ে গেছি বা আমি এই এই ব্যাপারে আমার অসুবিধা হবে না আমি এটাতে অভ্যস্ত এই ব্যাপারটি আমার জন্য নতুন নয় প্রেজেন্ট টেন্সে কিন্তু ইউজ টু এর আমরা ব্যবহার করি যখন অর্থ দাঁড়ায় যে ইট ইস নট নাও নট নিউ অর স্ট্রেঞ্জ ফর মি তখন আমরা বলি আই অ্যাম ইউজ টু সামথিং অর আই এম ইউজ টু ডু সামথিং ডুইং সামথিং ফরহান লিভস অ্যালোন হি ডাজেন্ট মাইন্ড দিস বিকজ হি হ্যাজ লিভড অ্যালোন ফর টেন ইয়ার্স ইট ইস নট স্ট্রেঞ্জ ফর হিম হি ইস ইউজ টু ইট হি ইস ইউজ টু ইট হি ইস ইউজ টু লিভিং অ্যালোন ইউজ টু প্লাস ভার প্লাস আইন জি স্যাম হ্যাজ এ নিউ জব হি হ্যাজ টু গেট আপ মাচ ইয়ার নাও দেন বিফোর এট সিক্স এম হি ফাইন্স দিস ডিফিকাল্ট বিকজ হি ইজেন্ট ইউজ টু getting up so early i am used to the weather this in this country je tomake bola holo je tumi ei rokom suffocated room e thakte parbe tomar tokhon tumi uttor dicho je ha ami amar ei rokom obbhosto ami ei rokom temperature er sathe obbhosto okay i am used to do it i am used to living uh, living in this uh, situation our new flat is on a busy street i expect we will get used to the noise get used to tar mane ami ami ei byapar tar sathe obosto hoye jabo we will get used to this noise hmm. but at the moment it is disturbing it's very disturbing okay acha in our last lecture lecture number 3 we talked about need not have hmm amra need not have দিয়ে নিড নট হ্যাভ এর সাথে ডিড নট হ্যাভ টু এর একটা কম্পারিজন দেখাচ্ছিলাম অর্থ অর্থের একটা কম্পারিজন দেখাচ্ছিলাম এখন সেই সূত্রে আমি একটু নিড সম্পর্কে সংক্ষিপ্ত আলোচনা করে দেব ইউজ অফ নিড অ্যাজ প্রিন্সিপাল ভার প্রিন্সিপাল ভার বা মেইন ভার্ব হিসেবে নিড এর ব্যবহার কিভাবে হচ্ছে প্রেজেন্টেন্স অ্যাফর্মেটিভ ফর্মে আই নিড হেল্প when you think about the word need the first thing comes to your mind is Uh, necessity or requirement i need money i need help he needs some winter clothes she does not need money negative negative sentence hocche she does not need money they don't need new books interrogative do you need a pen abar jokhon kono kaj kora proyojon bojhay need when need to do an action then you use need plus infinitive he needs to go there we need to purchase new books you need to go with me negative i don't need to meet her she doesn't need to come here they don't need to call a doctor interrogative does he need to do the work okay past simple i needed some books she needed to follow the rules then negative she didn't need to pay for it you did not need to buy for tickets তোমাকে চারটি টিকেট কেনার প্রয়োজন হয়নি ইউ ডিড নট নিড টু বাই ফোর টিকেট ইন্টারোগেটিভ ডিড ইউ নিড মানি ডিড আই নিড টু এক্সপ্লেন ইট এভরিথিং ডিড ইউ নিড টু পারচেজ দা টিকেট পারচেজ দা কার ওকে আবার আরেকভাবে ব্যবহার হচ্ছে নিড যেমন নিড প্লাস টু বি প্লাস ভার্ব এর পাস্ট পার্টিসিপাল ফর্ম দা রুম নিডস টু বি ওয়াশড এই রুমটি ওয়াশ করা পরিষ্কার করা প্রয়োজন দ্য গার্ডেন নিডস টু বি ওয়াটার্ড দ্য প্রবলেম নিডস টু বি সলভ একইভাবে নিড প্লাস ভার প্লাস আইএনজি অর্থ কোনো কিছু ইম্প্রুভ করা ফিক্সিং অর্থে দ্য সোফা নিডস ক্লিনিং আবার আমরা নিডের সাথে এস যুক্ত না করেও কিছু ব্যবহার দেখি সেক্ষেত্রে নিডকে সেমি মডেল ভার্ব অক্সিলারি ভার্ব হিসেবে নিডের ব্যবহার লক্ষ্য করা যায় এবং আনকমন ওকে বাট নেটিভ স্পিকার বা ইনফরমাল স্পিকিং এ অনেক সময় দেখা যায় দেখা গেছে যে আই নিড বাই এ নিউ শার্ট এরকম বলছে বাট লেস কমন নেগেটিভ সেন্টেন্স গুলোতে বেশি ব্যবহার হয় 
আবার ফর্মাল এবং রিটেন ইংলিশে কিভাবে ব্যবহার হয় দেখো ইন ফর্মাল ওর রিটেন ইংলিশ নিড ইজ ইউজ উইথ ওনলি স্কার্সলি হার্ডলি নাউন প্রোনাউন এজ সাবজেক্ট দেন নিড দেন হার্ডলি স্কার্সলি ওর ওনলি দেন কামস ভার্ব আই নিড হার্ডলি সে হাউ গ্ল্যাড আই এম নাউ এই যে আমরা এভাবে যে বলাই বাহুল্য আমার বলার প্রয়োজন নেই যে আমি কতটা খুশি এখন ইট ইজ নট এ হার্ড টাস্ক শি নিডস ওনলি প্রেস দ্য বাটন and the tea will come out you need scarcely utter words and need not need not er byabohar ta beshi lokkho kora jay when the it indicates uh, the authority or advice of the speaker in present or future tense and to will not be placed before the verb to plus verb hoy na need not to hobe na need not to play erokom hobe na you need not go there you need not ask my permission you needn't think about it you needn't go on foot you can use my bicycle he need not needs not hocche na semi modal verb hisebe e gulo jokhon tomader chokhe porbe tokhon tomader hoyto mone hote pare je need er sathe to s thakar kotha tokhon bujhe nite hobe eta semi modal verb hisebe kaj korche interrogative sentence e need we wait any longer need i worry need i go to school need he purchase clothes এখন যেটা লাস্ট ক্লাসে বলেছিলাম সেটাই আবার বলছি যে when the action is performed but it was necessary in this case subject plus need not have plus first participle of the verb will be used you need not have bought the camera that means uh, you already have bought the camera but it was not needed it was not necessary you just have wasted money she need not have sent him a letter to inform him of the matter he came to her house the following day abar should have ekhane should have tao dekhi dilam je uchit chilo ebong uchit chilo na you should have done the work long before tomari kache onek agei kore phela uchit chilo you are too late you should not have lost your temper should have plus verb er past participle need as a noun noun hisebe need er byabohar education is a need there is a difference between need and desire okay need as a noun then um, we will learn about use of it let's move forward we commonly use the pronoun it as both subject and object shima did the work it was important the noun er poriborte jeti byabohar hoy ba noun ke repeat na korar jonno it byabohar hoy mane pronoun byabohar hoy ebong ekhane work er poriborte it boshano hoyeche in animate object joro bostu i have written a letter and i want to send it to my mother letter rer poriborte it inferior animals we have a dog and we love it very much and baby or child as a common gender okay the baby is crying for its mother or the the child is looking at its mother or to identify someone you do not know who uh, who is uh, who is knocking at the door suppose somebody is knocking at the door and you do not uh, know you can ask like this who is it it may be a postman someone is crying it is a baby the pronoun it is used as provisional or dummy subject when the real subject is an infinitive or that clause infinitive uh, or that clause hote she real subject kintu ebhabe na bole mane to talk to them was nice to talk to them subject was nice hmm ebhabe na bole it is more natural to say like this it was nice to talk with them it it is good to take take exercise regularly it is bad to tell a lie it is true that he will come it's good that she is doing more exercise that she is doing more exercise is good instead of a uh, thing like this it, you can say it's good you can 
use it as a provisional subject okay it can be used to refer to a preceding statement at a statement dewa holo ebong oi statement tai porobortite repeat na kore oi statement ta kei bojhanor jonno it byabohar hoy jack was maltreated by his uncle and he could not forget it all his life tahole he could not forget the maltreatment of his uncle but you do not have to repeat it again if you uh, you can just uh, say like this uh, um, he could not forget it all his life ill means the maltreatment of his uncle he wants to pass the exam but it will be difficult for him it also used as an emphasizer before a noun or pronoun it is you who have done it so you have done it you can say you have done it but jokhon jor diye bola hocche eta tumi je kaj ti korecho it is you who have done it it was nancy who made the cake it with passive voice is very common it makes the sentence less personal and more objective jemon it was decided that we should all swim across the lake before breakfast hmm it was decided ashole eta mane kono byakti bishesher siddhanto noy erokom ekti siddhante asha gelo je ebhabe jokhon bola hocche ashole বোঝা যাচ্ছে না যে এটা কোনো পার্সোনাল এটা এটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি কার ডিসিশন এটা সর্বসম্মতিক্রমে একটা কিছু সিদ্ধান্তে আসা হলো তাহলে ইট ইস লেস পার্সোনাল অ্যান্ড মোর অবজেক্টিভ ইট ইস এক্সেপ্টেড দ্যাট রিসার্চ ইন্টু ক্যান্সার হ্যাজ অ্যাডভান্সড কনসিডারেবলি ইন দ্য লাস্ট ফিউ ইয়ার্স ওকে উইথ ভার্ব সাচ এস ফাইন্ড অর কনসিডার আমার ফাইন্ড এবং কনসিডার এর সাথে আই ফাইন্ড ইট ডিফিকাল্ট আই কনসিডার ইট ভেরি নাইস এভাবে ইট এর ব্যবহার এই সেন্টেন্স গুলোতে ইট এর ব্যবহার আসে কিভাবে দেখো ইট প্লাস অ্যাজেকটিভ প্লাস দ্যাট প্লাস অর ইট প্লাস অ্যাজেকটিভ প্লাস ইনফিনিটিভ আর কমনলি ইউজড আই ফাইন্ড ইট আনস্ক্রিপুলাস টু টেল হিম এভরিথিং আই মাস্ট সে আই ফাইন্ড ইট আনস্ক্রিপুলাস আমি এটা খুব মানে বিবেক বর্জিত কাজ মনে করি যে সবকিছু তাকে বলে দেওয়াটা I must say local people will consider it to be an insult that they have not learned to speak a few words of the language. Look, uh, local people, Thaniyo Lok Jonra, it is a very good thing to say. 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 it happened that he lost his mobile erokom ghotlo je she tar mobile ta hariye fello ebong it seems that he is on mone hoy eta eti mone emon ta mone hoy je she ekjon shot manush it so happens uh, that we sometimes forget about ourselves erokom ta ghote je amra majhe majhe amader nijeder kotha bhule jai it er sathe occur ebong turn out the sentence gothon kora jay it occurred to me that she wanted to tell me the truth so sentences can be like this uh, uh, it occurred to me that means the idea came to me that she wanted to tell me the truth she amake shotti kotha ta bolte chaache emon ta amar dharona holo it turned out that means it proved that ultimately it 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 was proved that he was a thief therefore it is no good it is no use verb plus ing erokom sentence dekhle jokhon gap thakbe tokhon okhane it boshbe it is no good telling a lie it is no use bringing laptop with you hmm. and the last slide uh it distance time and tide temperature weather erokom bojhate uh, it ke subject hisebe ante hoy jemon prishti porchhe banglay tumi bole dichcho খুব ইজিলি বৃষ্টি পড়ছে কিন্তু যখন ইংলিশে বলতে হয় ইট আনতে হবে সামনে এরকম সেন্টেন্স তৈরি করার জন্য ইট ইস আ ফাইন মর্নিং ইট ইস রেইনিং ইট ইস স্নোইং ইট ইস হট টুডে ইজ ইট 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 ইস হট টুডে ইট ইস কোল্ড ইন দিস প্লেস হাউ ফার ইজ ইট টু কুল না ইট ইস আ লং ওয়ে ইট ইস থ্রি হান্ড্রেড কিলোমিটার্স সো ওয়েন ইউ টক অ্যাবাউট টাইম ওয়েন ইউ ইউ ক্যান সে হোয়াট টাইম ইজ ইট 
It is 10 o'clock. What day is it? It is Friday. What is the date? It is 10th of June. It was summer. Uh, how long will it take to reach there? And it, you can say, uh, it will take two hours or three hours to reach there. It is high tide, it is low tide, okay? Okay, we, uh, that's all for today. And, uh, and finish your homework and keep practicing. Okay, see you in the next class. And let me know if you have any questions, okay? Thank you, bye-bye.